<coughs> wow, that was good. Hey guys, it's old Jeff, the Oklahoma urban legend hunter. It's been a long while. Been having a good uh, time in the rain and the floods and the tornadoes here in Oklahoma. Uh, not really, but so be it. So, so I want to talk about prophecy today and the things I want to, like I said, not paranormal, but supernatural. As the old Jeff, somebody may have said this before, but I'm going to say it now. Paranormal to me always leads to something that bad has happened and supernatural is something good is going to happen. Active, explosive, and that's what I'm staying on from here on out. I've had a fun with the other stuff, but this is what I'm really all about. I've always been, my name, you know, always, I've always had joy, always been happy, now more joy. Joy is different. Joy will get you through the hard times. And that's just biblical stuff. I mean, you just search your Bible for that. But today I'm excited. And I'll just say it's a prophetic thing. Everything I do is going to tend towards prophecy. You can see so many prophets of today prophesying all the things that are getting ready to happen. And their warning signs, their signposts of things that are getting ready to happen. And I thank God for it. Good stuff. And I'm just praying for our nation, praying for our communities, praying for uh, unity as well for uh, us and America and the United States of America. Uh, and I, I want to talk about uh, Pentecost. That's what's coming up next, June 7th, I think, 7th, 8th. But that would be the number 50. But that's Pentecost is when the Holy Ghost came down. And that's even a better ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. And we receive the signs and wonders and speaking in other tongues and all that. I want to read it today out, out of the Acts of the Apostles in the Word, uh, Word of God. And I'm just excited about it. I got my little Kipo, camouflage Kipo, my real tree. I wanted uh, cami uh, mossy oak, but oh well. So, it's Kipo, and we'll put that on there just for fun. It's Ben Shapiro. Hey, Ben. Hallelujah, brother. So, I stick it on my head. Am I Jewish? I don't know. I'm Eastern Band Cherokee and Cherokee and Scottish, that I know, but if we are, more power to me. So I'm going to read this out of the Acts of the Apostles for the prophetic thing. It's getting ready. God always goes according to his calendar. Something good is going to happen. Something's going to happen. It's coming up, and it's coming up this week. And all, to all you out there in, in uh, TV land, uh, Shabbat Shalom as well. And let's read this, okay? So Acts 2. I'm going to just start there. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, we well, could stop right there. Woo! It says they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and set one upon each of them. And one set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. See, the Spirit gave them utterance, and they spoke with the other tongues. It's hand in hand. And they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and they were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. And when they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Look, are they not, not these the ones, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it we're here, how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, it's those that were dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia. All, and it goes on and on. And it's, but I just want to tell you, that was the day. That was the day of Pentecost. And it, but at the, well, it goes on down, let's just say, all these, they're hearing us all. It says, so they're all amazed and perplexed, saying, uh, in 2.12, Acts 2.12. So they're all amazed and perplexed, saying one to another, what could this ever mean? More and that's, I mean, Peter, who had messed up so much, right? He stood up. Others there said, these people are drunk, they're full of new wine, but it was nine in the morning, right? And Peter said, men of Judea and all dwell of Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and heed my words, these are not drunk as you suppose, it's only the third hour of the day, which is around nine o'clock. But this was what was spoken by the prophet Joel. It shall come to pass in the last days, said God, that I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my manservants and on my maidservants, I'll pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy, and I'll show wonders in the heavens above. You see them now, more than ever, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Hey, we're seeing stuff, right? The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood. Hmm. And before the coming of the great awesome day of the Lord, it shall come to pass 
that who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Lord, I pray you call on the name of Jesus, call on the name of the Lord. He is Master, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the Messiah. That's what I call you. That is so, that, that's more prophetic than anything and still for today. And we need it. So, I'm just saying, keep your eyes focused. Keep on, keep watching to see what's going to happen this weekend, Sunday, Saturday, the Pentecost weekend. And uh, just like as old Jeff always says, stay with me a while. It's going to be a good one. And I, like I said, I'm always doing something good. Always having a good time. And uh, we had been on a trip to Durant, Missouri to see Shepherd of the Hills. It's a totally G-rated thing. Uh, sweet story. Uh, totally about forgiveness and all that. I've lived around Branson and Arkansas. Well, Arkansas really my whole life. We've been around Branson my whole life as a kid. But uh, I go see it if you can. And as again, like I said, uh, have fun this uh, it's Friday. It's Friday today. And I uh, just... Like I said, have a good Friday. Shabbat Shalom. Peace to all y'all. And uh, I just tell you, you might do a checkout from the neck up on your thing with where your stand is with the Lord. Um, the good measuring stick is how's your prayer life going on. That's for me. And I love you. Guys, uh, as always, stay with old Jeff a while. It's always going to be a good one, right? Yeah. So um, talk care, take care. And um, if I get anything good, any more supernatural stuff I see up here, uh, I'll let you know if I hear. So thank you guys. Thanks for standing with me, and I'll talk to you later, man. I'm out.